Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Today we are looking at a page turner for a tablet device or iPad. And I have come upon this guy, which is the Stomp by Coda Music Technologies. <music> All right, so if you've ever been on stage and you forgot lyrics or you forgot a chord or you need that sort of confidence to be able to look uh, at a tablet or a piece of music. Uh, this will be very, very useful for you, um, especially if you're in a band that does, you know, like 30, 40 cover songs in a night. Um, you're bound to forget something. Um, I would say that it's not good to just stare at your iPad or a piece of music the entire time because that is not engaging with the audience. I mean, maybe if it's a jazz thing and you're playing background music or something like in a golf course or whatever um, where people aren't really paying attention to you, or, or maybe they are if you're super fantastic, but generally in my experience, that's not been the case. Um, but anyway, if you're in the live sound setting as far as playing music, or live music setting, sorry, um, this will be a very, very good sidekick for you. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement. I will leave a affiliate link in the description and I will get uh, a cut of that. I think it's like 1%, maybe a half percent, something like that. Um, not big, so, but you know, anything helps. So if you wanna check that out, definitely. Um, Okay, so let's look at an overview of what this guy does. Um, the first thing I notice, right, it's actually on right now. First thing I notice, it has a, a nine volt in. Um, and I couldn't remember if it was uh, minus plus or plus minus, whatever. I think it was like nine, um, it was 1500 milliamps in, I think. Um, and then it has this little doodad, it looks like an antenna, which I, I think that's, I'm pretty sure what that is. Bluetooth antenna, it, they say it'll go 50 feet. Um, I don't know why you'd need to go that far. I've never had a circumstance where I've needed to trigger music from 50 feet away um, or music charts from 50 feet away, but you know, whatever, who knows, maybe somebody does. Um, then you have a actually power out, a USB out, which you can power your iPad or phone or whatever it is you're reading music off of. Obviously, if it's a piece of paper, it's not a problem, but guess what? Uh, outside, a iPad will not blow away. If it's, especially if it's attached to a mic stand or something like that. Something else worth mentioning is that this, this guy is compatible with hundreds of apps. You can go on to codamusictech.com and find out um, all the apps and I would be surprised if the app that you use is not compatible with this guy. Um, next, we're gonna look at these buttons. You have power buttons, pretty easy to, you know, that's pretty much, the sign for power buttons. I'm not really sure how that happened as far as, um, yeah, as far as the signage goes, but whatever. Um, next you have the infinity button. So that means you can like hold down this button and it'll keep flipping pages or it'll keep scrolling up and down, which is pr the way that I would use that thing. Um, which brings us to the next button, which controls the functions of these two guys. Um, you have Scrolling right, left, and um, you might be able to see my iPad over there. And worth noting that when you push down, the, the down button is not what actually makes it happen. It's actually the upstroke. Um, and I think they probably did that so that they could put in the infinity type deal. Um, so like I could hold this down and currently it is uh, on this guy. And so, here, let's see if I can get here. Oh, it's already all the way to the other way. Okay, see that? And then I can hold this down and it'll keep scrolling if I wanted to. If you hit the infinity button again, you hold it down and nothing happens. So depending on what type of player you are, you know, you're gonna either hit the infinity button or not. I leave that on. Um, that's far, that's basically it as far as functionality goes. I guess they say there's like a keyboard function, uh, if you are into that kind of thing. I don't know what it's doing exactly, if it's triggering patches or something or whatever. Um, 
I have used a lot of foot pedals that change the music on an iPad, and by far this is the best one. It is the most robust. It's made of metal, you know, it's not like a plastic cheap piece of crap. You can pop a um, nine volt battery, you just unscrew these screws here and take this plate off and then you put the battery in or you could use obviously the nine, uh, nine volt AC adapter um, and that that'd definitely be a big, good function. I kind of use both um, functions as far as powering goes because I would not run like if i needed to charge my ipad i would not run the battery because that would probably just suck the life out of that battery so quickly i have not done that but um i would guess it would be very quick i would say like cons would be like the buttons are kind of small um so like with the other uh foot pedal um page turners i've used in the past the the paddles they usually use paddles and not buttons kind of like a guitar pedal does buttons like the guitar pedal does but not and but these are like pa like big paddles on the ground and so it's easy to find it with your foot um but at the same time they're kind of cheap and a lot of times workflow is kind of hard as far as like pairing with ipads i've had trouble unpairing and then pairing to another one um it was like they really clung to that original pair as far as the uh uh, you know, Bluetooth settings go, because that is a Bluetooth pair. Um, so, and I guess you do have to have, I think, at least Bluetooth 4. Um, I would check that on your code of music, but you could go into your uh, iPad settings and see exactly which Bluetooth you have. I think they're up to 5 now. Um, it might be even Bluetooth 3 is the lowest one. Um, but that does matter, so definitely check that out. Okay, cost on this guy is 150 bucks. That's kind of high, I think. Um, but what you're getting, you probably not need to buy another one of those for a long time. Uh, the other ones are kind of disposable. I think they were maybe in the range of 20 to 40 bucks, something like that. So it's going to be a pretty cheap piece of crap. That is not a cheap piece of crap. Doesn't take up a huge amount of room on a pedal board if you want to do that. Um, it's also flat on the bottom and all this. So, uh, it has these little stoppers. So if you're on, you know, wood floor or whatever, it's not going to slip so bad. Um, if I was putting this on a pedal board, I would take those guys off and put Velcro on it. Um, I generally don't use a pedal board with that guy because the um, majority of gigs that I'm using that with are kind of acoustic guitar or singing type deals. So uh, that's just kind of the way I'm using it. Um, if you like content like this, uh, definitely hit the notification bell, subscription, um, and uh, tell me what you think in the comments. And, uh, oh yeah, and hit that like button as well. That definitely helps me out. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.